Hey everyone, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Jaden Smith being the face for Louis Vuitton, but here's the kicker. He's not the face of the menswear line. He's the face of women's wear. <laughs> Let me say that again. He's the face of women's wear. And before people get mad at me, not normal. I I'm sorry, not normal. If I had a son that age who was like, Mom, I'm gay or whatever, or I want to put on a skirt, I'd be like, there's something wrong with you. I'm so I that does not mean I wouldn't love my kid, but still. I'm not about to pretend that I agree with the lifestyle. I don't. You know, I just don't. I feel like you're feminizing the black man for one. And those are my marshmallows. I'm sorry, my boyfriend stole my food. He always takes my food. Here. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. What was I saying? If you look at this picture of Jaden Smith, he's surrounded by white women. That's who they have him surrounded by. And look at how he has his hair. And I'm not talking about the fact that he has locks. I think locks, natural hair, it's all beautiful. But the way he's wearing his hair is the way a female would wear it. That's how a woman would put their hair in a little ponytail with little bangs like that. There's a way that guys can wear locks or natural hair and still look masculine. And the way he's doing it, he's about like, a cry away from being a total woman. I'm just saying, like, a cry away. Like, a lot of what he's wearing, that's even the style I would wear. And that's how I know it's feminine. I'm like, no. And a lot of people are condoning this and they don't see what the agenda is. They want to feminize the black man. This is like the male version of what Kiki Palmer is doing. Kiki Palmer is going around saying, oh, my sexuality is fluid. Jaden Smith is going around saying, yeah, I'm a guy. I can wear a skirt if I want to. It's like, wh why would you even want to? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It used to be like, and I'm, I'm a young person. It used to be like, even when I was growing up, you know, Parents would tell you, okay, girls don't wipe their mouth with their hand. Boys do that. Or, okay, guys don't, guys don't cry at the drop of a hat. Women do that, you know? Now it's like, you know, people are just confused. And they're trying to do this specifically to black people. And they're targeting them young. Because Jaden Smith, how old is he? Let me think. I know he's not 18 yet. How old is he? He's 17, so he's almost an adult, but still, he's still impressionable. And he was born in the late 90s, whereas I was born in the early 90s. So, I mean, whenever people say that 90s babies are lost, eh, to a degree, not all, but to a degree. But the ones born in the late, late 90s, oh, they're even worse. They're the ones out here talking about how, you know, we live in a multicultural, multiracial society. There's no more racism. You know, everyone loves each other. Kumbaya. And that's not true. And Jaden doesn't understand that he's being used to fill an agenda. And and I just got done looking at an article where Will Smith is not okay with this. And that actually came as a relief to me because at first I thought they're letting him do this. Sh I mean, well, they did let him do it. But at first I got the impression that, oh, they're okay with it. Because as you know, Will and Jada have made it no secret that they allow their children to be quote unquote free. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm an artist. I get being free but there comes a point where you have to just put your foot down and be like, no, this isn't happening. But I mean, if, if it's true that Will Smith is truly against what Jaden's doing, it's too late. Because Jaden is almost 18 and by the time they become that age, if, if they're doing something you don't like, you pretty much lost them. I mean... Yeah, but I'm going to read this article. 
If 2015 was the year unisex became a trend in fashion, 2016 may be the year the, ge the question of gender and dress enters an entirely different dimension. At least judging by the style soothsayer Nicholas Jesquire, the artistic director of Louis Vuitton, whose ability to sense social change and give it form has made him one of the most successful designers of his generation. Or rather, judging by his Instagram feed, See Mr. Jesquire greeted the early days of January with a post unveiling his three-part spring-summer Vuitton women's wear ad campaign coming to magazines in their February issues. One section has a cast of models including Jean Campbell, Rianne Van Rompuy, Sarah Brannon, and Jaden Smith. The 17-year-old actor, rapper, designer, pontificator son of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. The presence of Mr. Smith in itself is not a big thing. Celebrities of all ages are regulars in fashion ads, and Mr. Smith's younger sister, Willow, was featured in Marc Jacobs' fall campaign. Burberry often accessorizes its women's wear ads with hip young men, and for spring has added Dylan Bronson, son of Pierce, to the roster. What sets the Vuitton ads apart is that they feature Mr. Smith as himself, but in women's clothing. Specifically in pieces straight off the runway from the last women's show, a black leather jacket, look number two, originally worn by Lily Stewart, a white cotton and metal embroidered top, look number 24, and a metal embroidered kilt, look number three. In other words, he's not a man in transition. That's been done before when Ricardo Tisci put a transgender model, Leah T, in his fall 2010 women's ads, or a man wearing clothing that looks as if it could be worn by either gender. Nor is he a man wearing women-inspired men's wear, like the men on the Sonia Raquel pre-fall runway in fuchsia and black striped twin sets and velvet tux trousers. He is a man who happens to be wearing obviously female clothes. And while he doesn't look like a girl in them, he actually looks pretty good. Oh my god, he actually looks pretty good. Oh boy, they're trying so hard to make this the norm. It's not about the hairy legs and a skirt bro cliche. So what is it about? Is it possible to see this as sheer sensationalism? There has been speculation that Mr. Smith, who has been wearing various bits of women's clothes for a while now, a white skirt and black tux to a prom, a flowered t-shirt dressed to Coachella, and making statements such as, I like wearing super drapey things so I can feel as though I'm a superhero, in an interview in GQ, has done it mostly as a canny play for attention or to promote the idea of himself as a new thought leader. Went to Top Shop to buy some girl clothes, I mean clothes, he Instagrammed last year. And certainly including him in its campaign makes Vuitton appear edgy and forward-thinking and millennial sensitive, especially in the context of the other indie celebrities in the ads. A South Korean actress, Duna Bay, and the virtual star of the Final Fantasy video game, Lightning. Mr. Smith represents a generation that has assimilated the codes of true freedom, one that is free of manifestos and questions about gender. Oh, God. See, I remember reading a quote that I found off the internet. I forgot who said it exactly, but the quote went something like this. One way to control the slaves is to make them really believe they're free when they're actually not. And this is an example of it. Jaden has bought into this mindset that, okay, I'm free. I can wear whatever I want. I can even wear women's clothes if I want. No, you can be feminized. But the moment you start acting like an alpha male or a heterosexual black man, they won't let you. You'll become a threat. And then they'll start trying to destroy you. Look at what they're doing with a lot of black men in the media. Look at what they're trying to do to Bill Cosby, that rapper, what's his name, the one who was with Kylie, uh, Tyga, and the one who, there's another guy that they're trying to take down. I forgot, Dr. Ben Carson. They always talk shit about Obama on the regular. They always talk about him. A day doesn't go by when they don't talk about him. So, I mean, if Jaden really thinks that he's, quote-unquote, free, 
yeah, you're free to be a gay black man. You're free to be a feminized black man. But are you free to be a masculine black man? No, because that scares the hell out of them. So really, Jaden, you're not free. Wearing a skirt comes as naturally to him as it would to a woman who long ago granted herself permission to wear a man's trench or a tuxedo. Oh my god. Okay, they're trying to compare this to women being able to wear pants. Okay, there's a difference, okay? When women wear pants, pants are tighter. They're not baggy. When women wear a blazer, it tends to be tighter not baggy. You can't compare Jaden wearing a dress to a woman wearing pants. I mean, this is ridiculous. Translation, this is the natural end stage of the fashion revolution started in the 1960s and 70s when women took off their aprons and girdles and appropriated jeans. This posits millennials as the real heirs to the me generation, though it's questionable whether many of Mr. Smith's 2.4 million Instagram followers are also actually Vuitton customers. But whatever the motivation of both parties, and however pure or not, the result has its own substance. It's not unisex, it's not gender neutral or gender bending or gender free or any of the other expressions we've been using to describe the current closed fluid moment because it is in fact entirely gendered, at least going by traditional definitions of men's versus women's clothing. The clothes and their conceptual allegiance have not changed at all. The person wearing them has. Oh my god. They're trying so hard to normalize this. It's pathetic. And therein lies the rub. Boundaries have been pushed on runways before. John Paul Gaultier caused a controversy when he put skirts in his menswear show in 1984. Then it was deliberately provocative. However, when Alessandro Michele dressed men in floral suits and sheer chiffon pussy bow blouses on his recent Gucci women's runway, as with Vuitton, it was more subtle. A nudge to the question of why this was surprising at a time when gender definitions are as fluid as they have ever been, and when their efforts to codify the new reality, be it on bathroom doors or in the language of institutions. A push to the realization that though we long ago accepted women appropriating men's clothes and stopped thinking of it as appropriating, the idea of men appropriating women's clothes is still largely taboo. It should be. What grown man wants to wear a dress? Okay, you know what? L let me just ask someone right here. Cordell, do you want to wear a dress? No. Exactly. <laughs> My boyfriend just said it with no hesitation. He said no. I asked him, do you want to wear a dress? He, with no hesitation, no. Wearing a dress does not make you... There's no room for a man to be going in. Yeah, he just said there's no room for a man to be going in that direction. It's I mean, just to feel like a superhero during the skirt doesn't make you feel like a superhero. <laughs> exactly. But see, they would never interview the average masculine black man on the street. They wouldn't because they're afraid of what he might say. Would they interview somebody like my boyfriend? Hell no, because he's too conscious. He would question too much. And I already know he asks a lot of questions, so... No, that would never happen. <laughs> I mean, they are trying so hard to make this the norm. And pretty soon, come 50 years, we're not going to exist as a people. We're, we're just not even going to exist at the rate we're going. But while runways, even in the age of social media, are largely for the fashion-centric few, global ad campaigns have a wider reach. Mr. Smith certainly thinks so, since after Ms. Mr. Jess Squire's Instagram, he Instagrammed in turn, Thank you so much, Louis Vuitton and Nicholas Jess Squire, for the opportunity to impact this world. Yeah, impact it negatively. That could be overstating the matter, but there's no question clothes are one way we order the world. We use them to tell if someone is male or female, or wants to be one or the other. What they do, how much money they have, what bands they like, what country they come from, etc. 
Whatever you do in your private life, clothes or public signals about how to read you. They are part of the social contract. If that order is thrown up in the air, how will we know what snap judgments to make? How do we know how to interpret what we are seeing if interpretation is based on outmoded definitions of identity? How will we know what floors to shop on, what fashion weeks to attend? The fear of sem semiological chaos and the force of historical convention explains in part why clothing norms have held on so long. We want to understand what we are seeing, and we want those seeing it to understand what we are saying. But here's the thing. As much as understanding, we also want admiration, to think we look good in what we are wearing. Fashion developed in part because the shapes flatter our different bodies. What fits best stays, how else to explain the eternal appeal of jeggings? Suits idolize and triangulate the male torso, smoothing spare tires and hiding pot bellies. Dresses nip and tuck and create curves where there were none. Mr. Smith looks good in his girl's Vuitton, in part because of his coat hanger-like frame. He fit the runway samples, and in part because the clothes have a gladiatorial edge. But that doesn't mean every man will. In the end, that may be the greatest factor mitigating against the complete dissolution of traditional boundaries between men's and women's wear. And it may also be the real message of this particular moment. We are entering the age of wear what you like. Oh boy. Okay, this whole message is dangerous. They are really trying hard to normalize this. And I know I keep saying that, but I want to just keep reiterating that point. They are trying hard to normalize this. And let me show you. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but word on the street is Will Smith is not happy about this. He's not happy. Sorry, it's a little bit slow. I'm pulling up the article right now. Here it is. And yeah, a lot of you are going to say Will is a little harsh for saying that, but no, I don't blame him. <laughs> Will Smith tells Jaden to change last name to his mom's since he want to be a lady. Oh boy. And I'm not going to lie, I'm glad that Will is against the whole Louis Vuitton thing. Because I'm like, come on, Will, come on. You're almost at least 50 years old. You cannot be that stupid. No way you are that stupid when it comes to the agenda that they have for black men. And you're letting your son become part of that agenda. And I get it. When kids reach a certain age... They don't want to listen to shit. But I mean, most normal father-son relationships, if anything, they're arguing about, you know, dad, when can I get my license? You know, dad, when can I get out of the house? You know, that type shit. You know, oh, dad, when can I, uh, you know, masculine stuff. Dad, when can I start earning money? You know, stuff like that. The arguments that Will is probably going to have with his son, that's just a whole different realm. Like, Dad, I want to wear a dress. It's like, wait, what? <sighs> and I hate to say this because back in the day, I used to be a Jada Pinkett Smith fan. And I don't dislike her. I think she's a beautiful woman. But I just feel like her and Will's parenting, it, it was out there. And I don't mean out there in a good way. I mean out there like their kids never had any boundaries. Their kids never had any structure. And it's apparent. I'm like, you're going to let your son become the face of Louis Vuitton women's wear. Not men's wear. Women's wear. That right there should be a red flag. And here's what Will supposedly said. See, I don't know if he really said this or not, but I just saw this article today. He apparently said, I already have a daughter. Her name is Willow, and she has a vagina. The doctor checked. Oh, shit. Yeah, Will's not playing. 
said Will about his son becoming the face of Louis Vuitton women. Will Smith wasn't very happy with Jaden becoming the face of Louis Vuitton women. Can you blame him? uh, I'm a woman, and if I had a son who said, Mom, I want to be the face of women's women, I'd be like, are you crazy? I'd be like, you're a boy. You're not a girl. You are a boy. When you take off your clothes, it is not female genitalia that you see. It's male genitalia. I would just be like, are you nuts? (laughs) I'm from Philly and my son out here looking like Meek right now. Getting fucked by light skin. Oh my god. (laughs) Wow. But see, this is my point. Look at how Jaden has his hair. And I'm not talking about the locks. I'm talking about how he styled them. Before anyone wants to get mad at me, I'm like... If anyone's an advocate for natural hair, it's me. So I'm not talking shit about his locks. I'm talking about how he's wearing them. Like, the way a woman would. And there's ways that men can grow their locks out and still look masculine. Is Will showing that he's really from Philly and being very Meek Mill? Or is he just showing his son tough love? I say he's showing him tough love. Somebody needs to. Because these people in the industry, hell, they'll let Jaden be a little woman if he wants to. Because, hey, as long as he's a woman, he's not a threat. Pretty much. He's just a token gay black guy. And that's how they want us. That's how they want to keep us. And Jaden is too simple-minded to see it. And yes, I called him simple-minded because he just seems like the type to go along with anything. I mean, if you're going to go along with this, who knows what else you'll go along with. And you can't tell me there is no gay agenda. It's evident every time we turn on the TV, every time we go into the mall, there is a gay agenda everywhere. But yeah... I want to hear everyone's take on this whole thing, what everyone thinks about this, everyone's opinion. Let me know, like, subscribe. Can't wait to see the commentary. More videos coming up soon. Good night, you guys. Locks. I think locks, natural hair, it's all beautiful, but the way he's wearing his hair is the way a female would wear it. That's how a woman would put their hair in a little ponytail with little bangs like that. There's a way that guys can wear locks or natural hair and still look masculine. And the way he's doing it, he's about like a cry away from being a total woman. I'm just saying like a cry away. Like a lot of what he's wearing, that's even the style I would wear. And that's how I know it's feminine. I'm like, no. And a lot of people are condoning this and they don't see what the agenda is. They want to feminize the black man. This is like the male version of what Kiki Palmer is doing. Kiki Palmer is going around saying, oh, my sexuality is fluid. Jaden Smith is going around saying, yeah, I'm a guy. I can wear a skirt if I want to. It's like, why would you even want to? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. It used to be like, and I'm, I'm a young person. It used to be like even when I was growing up, you know, parents would tell you, okay, girls don't wipe their mouth with their hand. Boys do that. Or, okay, guys don't, guys don't cry at the drop of a hat. Women do that, you know. Now it's like coming to magazines and their February issues. One section has a cast of models, including Jean Campbell, Rian Van Rompe, Sarah Brannon, and Jaden Smith. The 17-year-old actor, rapper, designer, pontificator son of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. The presence of Mr. Smith in itself is not a big thing. Celebrities of all ages are regulars in fashion ads, and Mr. Smith's younger sister, Willow, was featured in Marc Jacobs' fall campaign. Burberry often accessorizes its women's wear ads with hip young men, and for spring has added Dylan Bronson, son of Pierce, to the roster. What sets the Vuitton ads apart is that they feature Mr. Smith as himself, but in women's clothing. It's 
specifically in pieces straight off the runway from the last women's show, a black leather jacket, look number two, originally worn by Lily Stewart, a white cotton and metal embroidered top, look number 24, and a metal embroidered kilt, look number three. In other words, he's not a man in transition. That's been done before when Ricardo Tishy put a transgender model, Leah T, in his fall 2010 women's ads, or a man wearing clothes. Hey everyone, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Jaden Smith being the face for Louis Vuitton, but here's the kicker. He's not the face of the menswear line. He's the face of women's wear. <laughs> Let me say that again. He's the face of women's wear. And before people get mad at me, not normal. I I'm sorry, not normal. If I had a son that age who was like, mom, I'm gay or whatever, or I want to put on a skirt, I'd be like, there's something wrong with you. I'm sorry. That does not mean I wouldn't love my kid, but still. I'm not about to pretend that I agree with the lifestyle. I don't. You know, I just don't. I feel like you're feminizing the black man for one. And those are my marshmallows. I'm sorry, my boyfriend stole my food. He always takes my food. Here. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. What was I saying? If you look at this picture of Jaden Smith, he's surrounded by white women. That's who they have him surrounded by. And look at how he has his hair. And I'm not talking about the fact that he has, as you know, Will and Jada have made it no secret that they allow their children to be, quote unquote, free. Which, don't get me wrong, I'm an artist. I get being free, but there comes a point where you have to just put your foot down and be like, no, this isn't happening. But I mean, if, if it's true that Will Smith is truly against what Jaden's doing, it's too late because Jaden is almost 18. And by the time they become that age, if, if they're doing something you don't like, you have pretty much lost them. I mean, yeah, but I'm going to read this article. If 2015 was the year unisex became a trend in fashion, 2016 may be the year the, the question of gender and dress enters an entirely different dimension. At least judging by the style soothsayer Nicholas Jesquire, the artistic director of Louis Vuitton, whose ability to sense social change and give it form has made him one of the most successful designers of his generation. Or rather, judging by his Instagram feed, See Mr. Jesquire greeted the early days of January with a post unveiling his three-part spring-summer Vuitton women's wear ad campaign. You know, people are just confused and they're trying to do this specifically to black people and they're targeting them young because Jaden Smith, how old is he? Let me think. I know he's not 18 yet. How old is he? He's 17, so he's almost an adult, but still, he's still impressionable, and he was born in the late 90s, whereas I was born in the early 90s, so I mean, whenever people say that 90s babies are lost, eh, to a degree, not all, but to a degree, but the ones born in the late, late 90s, oh, they're even worse. They're the ones out here talking about how you know, we live in a multicultural, multiracial society. There's no more racism. You know, everyone loves each other. Kumbaya. And that's not true. And Jaden doesn't understand that he's being used to fill an agenda. And, and I just got done looking at an article where Will Smith is not okay with this. And that actually came as a relief to me because at first I thought, they're letting him do this sh I mean, well, they did let him do it, but at first I got the impression that, oh, they're okay with it because